Good morning. Good morning. This mass is being offered up for Charlie Castiglione. And for those of you who are joining us from home with the mass being streamed live, welcome. We're glad you could be with us this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we are now concluding this day, preparing to welcome the new year, we thank God for the gift of the year 2020, but also for the gift of life and for the gift of peace. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to, and you, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your greater glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the nativity of your Son established the beginning and fulfillment of all religion, grant, we pray, that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, it is the last hour. And just as you heard that the Antichrist was coming, so now many Antichrists have appeared. This we know, thus we know this is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not really of our number. If they had been, they would have remained with us. Their desertion shows that none of them was of our number. But you have the anointing that comes from the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you do, and because every lie is alien to the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. The response will be, let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let, Let the, the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Let, Let the, the heavens and be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult before the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father. Alleluia, alleluia. 
The word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted him, he gave the power to become the children of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him. And without him, nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave the power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor, man, nor by man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we, saw, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This is, was he of whom I said, the one who was coming after me ranks ahead of me but because he existed before me. From his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only begotten Son, God, who was at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, this morning I went through the Gospel of today hearing John the Baptist. He's telling us that he's not the light, but he's the one who is preparing for us to encounter the presence of that light, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus, the light of the world, which illumined our lives each day. And wherever he touches our lives always, we are transformed into new life. I was asking myself, what do I remember for year 2020? What is, comes to me directly is COVID-19. But I started asking myself, just COVID-19? I came to learn that uh, this 2020 has been really a year which reminds us to come together as the people of God, to recognize that God does wonders in our journey of life, even at the moment of our struggles, even at the moment of this pandemic, He's always with us. At the beginning in March, we were in the turmoil, started asking ourselves, how are we going to make it? Are we going to have life again? And today we are in December, at the end of the year, we say thank you, Lord, because we have started seeing that light. People have started getting vaccine. We know that not all of us will get the vaccine at the beginning of 2021, but we are sure that God's ways are not our ways. We are sure that all those people who are working to make us ourselves safe, they are trying 
to respond to God's call. And their mission is to give us strength and safety. But we have to recognize that no matter what we do, we are not accomplishing our success unless we come forward to the presence of God. John the Baptist today is reminding us there is someone who is greater than him, and he is the light of the world. Let us continue to acknowledge his presence, to continue to be thankful, even at the time we find ourselves difficulties in our lives. He's always calling us, do not be afraid. Come to me who you are labor and burden, and I will give you rest. Let us be thankful for the year 2020, because it has been a year for us to embrace the love of God and to be thankful even at the difficult moments. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for being the light of the world, to come and embrace us, give us strength so that we can recognize your presence, and for this we pray. We pray for faith, we pray for peace and justice all over the world, and for this we pray. We welcome the year 2021, but we know that is because of your blessing and because of your power and your will. Allow us, all of us, to welcome it with joy and peace, and for this we pray. You have taught us how to come forward to you, even at the moment of struggles as we did for the COVID-19. Give us courage as we welcome 2021 so that we can move forward with your love and care. And for this, we pray. We know that this year, 2020, we have lost our dear ones, especially for those who died with COVID-19. Lord, receive them for eternal rest. And for this, we pray. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is true, right, and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks 
Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made it visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with the thrones and the dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are claimed. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and o honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Reminder, when you come up to the communion table, please have the mask covering your nose and mouth. Cup your hands. We'll deposit the host in your hands. Step to the side. Lower the mask. Consume the host. Raise the mask and then return to your seat, please. Please rise.
God sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might have life through him. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow that with the need solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On the behalf of Dick and Jim, I would like to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching live stream, Mark, I say also thank you for your prayers and for your participation. But in a very special way, for those who will not be able to come for the, the visual mass tonight, I want to wish you Happy New Year. And may God continue to bless all of you and let us continue to be united together as we did for 2020. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.